Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. It's a brand new month and we have brand new add-ons that you probably missed. And this week we have a good set of add-ons that you definitely want to check out. At the same time, there are discount codes for those who like to get some of the add-ons that are currently having a discount so that you can go through and pick it up. And with that said, let's get right into it. Rig Books for Blender is a brand new add-on that allows you to create animated books. Now, this is one of the fastest ways I've seen animated books created. And this add-on comes with a huge set of possibilities. So for those who are thinking about creating rig books with different sets of thickness and page numbering, then you might want to consider checking this out. This add-on features a lot of nice and impressive features that allows you to create books without any form of interleaving problems. You have full control of the book cover, heavily customizable, and at the same time, you can control the number of pages that you want. With a single click, you can replace textures on the books however you want. At the same time, you can play with the covers, you can animate this book, you can flip them, you can play with the size, and do some amazing things. So for those who have been thinking about creating book animations, then this is right here for you. This add-on is highly customizable and for sure it gives you every single thing that you've always wanted when trying to create or animate books. The True Sky add-on from TrueVFX is a fully featured sky tool that has been developed to a point where you have no reason to need HDRI. The True Sky add-on ships with a huge set of features designed for those who would like to take control, from creating skies to atmospherics and creating clouds, all the way to working with fogs and creating some amazing haze you have full control of how your scene actually looks. And for those who are thinking about working with the sky tool and getting the most out of it, you might want to consider checking this one out as it also ships with the sky set of presets that will just make you walk and rest easy. So if you're thinking about working with this, you will be able to get this right now for 30% off. This is their launch offer and it simply makes sense owing to the fact that lots of people would like to try this and take advantage of all the beautiful sceneries that they can create. Offroad is a brand new training tutorial set of videos made available by the folks at CG Cookie. The Offroad tutorial is built to help Blender artists learn how to rig and animate an RC truck in Blender. This is targeted to those thinking about learning how to rig and also hone their animation skill as there is no modeling involved in this. This is highly beginner friendly that will get you up and running in no time. From learning how to get started with rigging Python drivers, rigging springs, all the way to animating a monster truck, this tutorial is right here to give you all the step-by-step -step guides on how you can rig and also apply this same idea across different vehicles. At the same time, for those who have no idea, the folks at CG Cookie, they have lots of tutorials for those who are thinking about getting started with Blender. So if you're thinking about getting started, you want to do your first project, or maybe you're thinking about creating hard surfaces, realistic characters, rigging, or maybe you want to make some VFX stuff, then you might want to consider checking them out and seeing some of the things that they have to offer. Studio Rowell are the creators of an amazing set of geometry node generators. They've created a lot of geometry node generators that actually solve problems. From procedural stitches, random stack array, geometry node cog generators, geometry node dimension system, geometry node belt generators, and a whole lot more. Now for those who have been thinking about getting into geometry nodes, or probably you've been looking for a geometry node generator that you can use to create all of these amazing things then you might want to consider checking them out. The Geometry Node Procedural Snack Generator is also one of the nice tools that they've made, as with this tool, you can simply draw particular snacks by simply using a curve, and you can toggle between ketchup, mayonnaise, onion, mustard, and whipped creams. But that is not all. They also have the Geometry Node Procedural Stitches, which allows you to draw stitch patterns on your geometry, and with the geometry parameters, you can simply select the object that you want and give a custom stitch to the model. This comes with about six different kinds of stitches that you can work with, and for those who are into creating very realistic looking models and you're looking at ways that you can procedurally control this, this is also right here. It also makes sense to talk about the node dimension system that they've made. With the node dimension system, it is pretty easy for you to measure your 3D models and export the technical data with your model. Now this is going to be good for those who are thinking about making some construction, engineering stuff, and you're looking at ways to measure your models procedurally, then this is for you. The angle and distance can also be measured, and at this point, they are currently supporting meters, centimeters, millimeters, inches, feet, degrees, and also radians automatically. So, for those who are thinking about getting some nice and improved geometry node generators or set of tools, then you might want to consider checking out Studio Rowell and take a look at some of the amazing things that they have right here. 
Procedural patterns from Cortis has been updated. This has been updated to create room for new improvements that are currently available in Blender, and the new additions to the procedural patterns from Cortis includes the animated rain shader, the Voronoi family pattern nodes, volumetric demonstration node group and materials. There is also the tile hexagon and brick group node, the scatter node for randomized vector mapping, and a whole lot more. This package currently contains a set of nodes that you can find useful if you're creating procedural patterns. At the same time, Cortis has also updated some of the tools that he has. And for those who are looking for nice tools that they can work with directly in Blender to speed up their workflow, then you might want to check out the Halls tools, which is also available. And if you're looking for community packs that you can also work with, you might want to consider checking these ones out as well. Imperfection Plus Image is an all-in-one solution for texturing. The Imperfection Plus Image pack gives you a large array of tools to automate major parts of your texturing workflow. The main goal is to help you create seamless detailed PBR materials with surface imperfections all from one single input. And the way that this has been structured is for you to take advantage of all of the tools that they've made to work with. This comes with a set of nodes that can actually allow you to start working and start creating imperfections on the go. The imperfection tool also comes with an additional set of node setup, which includes the edge detector that can easily dictate edges on object. There is also the macro 1.0 tool, which is also a very good tool for varying colors and roughness map with layer noises, the imperfection core, which is a free lighter version of the imperfection tool and so much more. So for those who've been thinking about creating in imperfections on your model and you've been wondering about taking a look at some other tools that can help you get this you can simply come through and check this out meanwhile if you like to try this there is a 0.51 dollar imperfection version which is the light version that you can pick up and start playing with the easy pbr hook is an add-on to help you set up pbr materials in blender with a single click so how this works is pretty simple it looks for the textures within a specific folder that you've defined and once it finds the textures it automatically hooks them to your principal bsdf now the whole idea is for you to actually work easily and automatically hook up your textures to your materials without the need of searching for them the add-on also automatically recognizes textures by simply using a set of customizable naming convention table that has been imputed in so if you're looking for base color bc as base color color albedo it automatically understands that these are nodes that should be connected to the color node and it fits them right in there is also a customizable search that you can use to search for certain keywords and for the most part if you're also thinking about hooking up multiple textures you can also do that right here one thing to keep in mind is udim textures are currently supported and if you're looking for a list of recognized textures you'll be able to find them on the home page and i'm gonna put links to this in the description so you can do well to check it out the shockwave add-on takes advantage of blender particle system to create shockwave you can turn the shockwave into smokes and you can use this to create some incredible visuals now some of the features you'll be getting from this include the change color changing of size duplicating of emitters changing the shape of particles to be emitted and at the same time speed so if you're into making visual effects and you're looking for shockwave that you can use to advance and even polish your shots then this might be a very welcome one to look at another add-on that they've just announced as well is the bust add-on the bust add-on creates bust explosions from ground and just like the shockwave add-on works with a particle system in blender this is highly customizable and also comes with 12 preset for those who like to polish this a little a bit more you can add smokes manually and you can also customize the debris i did find this one very interesting to play with as you have options of changing the color of the bus and you can also throw in whatever you want to be a collider at any point in time you're using the bus add-on the pro align tool 2.1 is a beautiful tool for blender artists who would like to align several objects at the same time so the way the align tool works is simple you select the object you pick a plane and you align just like you could do in other traditional 3d apps this makes it even worth your while for you to align things depending on the plane that you're selecting you can go from maximum to center all the way to minimum and you can choose from different axes and also different depths to get these things to work some of the nice and impressive things that you have with the align tool is the support that it has it has a finer support control for those who are thinking about rotation and at the same time if you're thinking about using some bounding boxes you would be able to get this up to speed right now the pro align tool has been updated to support blender 3.0 3.1 and also 3.2 at the same time they're doing a 36 percent off sales which is pretty impressive for those who like to check it out first off we're looking at the shader bundle from abubam abubam is doing a 33 percent off for those who like to get his four shader bundle this comprises of the ultimate screen shader the dot matrix the digital shader and also a random texture shader 
right here you'll be able to get this and you'll be saving a couple of funds if you'll be getting these four high quality shaders at once. Moving forward, Lewis Martin is doing the Sign Pack plus True Fire add-on bundle. This is currently going for 22% off for those who like to get the True Fire and also the Sign Pack pre-animated camera moves. These are very useful add-ons for those who want to make very realistic flames directly in Blender and for those who are thinking about getting some pretty useful camera moves and also some pre-animated camera moves right in Blender. Run Tools is also available, MNDeep has continually given this one as a percentage off and I think this is going to be expiring pretty soon as he actually dropped this for 20% off for a very very long time. So hopefully if you're seeing this video, this might be extended. So if you're thinking about getting this, this is currently 20% off at the time of recording and hopefully you'll be able to get Run Tools if you were thinking about working with an add-on that would offer you some very cool features like making hard surfaces, creating cloth, creating cables, alongside with a huge set of PBR materials and also some very impressive tools as well. So Run Tools is a random set of tools that you can work with in Blender that can help you work faster and if this is something that you want, you might want to consider checking out the offer. The Gobo Light Texture is still running the 15% launch offer and this is for those who are thinking about working with some ultra realistic shadows directly in their scene as this works with the asset manager to bring that level of realism to your scene. This ships with 9 categories that includes 95 textures at the same time you'll be able to also find some animated leaves with this. So this is more like it for those who would like to take a look at all of this that we've just talked about and probably you'd like to catch up with some of the discounts then links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until I see you guys in the next one. Peace.